Hello, my name is Avery Clark and I am an, a second semester nursing student about to demonstrate the use of an IV primary line for saline and an IV uh, piggyback for cefazolin. Um, what we're going to do is we would start by uh, reviewing the MAR. Um, we would do this generally because we know that the medication is due to be administered and we're gonna, our first MAR check is going to be at the, um, the Pixis when we withdraw both our fluids and our medication. So pretending this is our, our Pixis. Uh, we see here that uh, the patient is going to be receiving uh, normal saline uh, at 100 milliliters per hour and uh, a dose of cefazolin at, uh, uh, which is 2,000 milligrams, and that is going to be over in 100 milliliters over a period of one hour. So uh, we check that, ensure that it's correct in the pixis, and then we take we take our medications out. And that would, that would be our bag right here, and our bag right here. This is the uh, saline and then this is the medication and we would also ensure that all of our other supplies are available these would not normally be attached however we don't have these caps so we're making sure we don't get anything too messy right now so we've done our first mark check we're going to do now is prepare uh, ensure that we have all of our supplies which is our iv primary line our iv secondary line our medications some labels alcohol prep pads and a 10 milliliter syringe of a normal saline. And so once we so get this. what we would do is uh, we'll make sure that we have the correct medication and then label it as such, which is right here. And then and then that's uh, you know we're using a previous one, so but we would just make sure that's correct. And uh, so that is good there. And yeah, so we would do conduct hand hygiene at this time. I didn't want to waste a pair of gloves, uh, so we're gonna notionally put on gloves a little later and then take all of our stuff uh, on the inside. But right before we come into the patient's room, we're gonna check the MAR again for our second check. So we're gonna make sure that it's uh, 0 0.9 normal saline at 100 milliliters an hour intravenous and cefazolin, uh, 2000 milligrams IV piggyback infused over a period of 60 uh, minutes or one hour. And uh, just as a quick review, we always wanna make sure we know why we're doing things. So uh, the normal saline uh, is uh, a, a crystal a, a, a crystalloid uh, fluid and it's isotonic and we're giving it to help maintain hydration and the medication cefazolin is a first generation cephalosporin antibiotic which is used to combat uh, combat bacterial infection uh, what the th some of the things we want to do before administering this medication is ensure that we check the patient's labs to make sure that um, they're uh, not uh, hypernatremic or even close to that because the saline can can uh, disrupt uh, electrolyte balance. And uh, we wanna make sure that the patient's liver enzymes are doing good so that they can tolerate the uh, cefazolin, as well as make sure that the, uh, the blood culture reflects that the medication would actually be effective in fighting the infection. So once we have all that done, uh, and we want, we are aware, we can, uh, we've already done our second check, and we can come inside the patient's room. So, we introduce ourselves, we tell the patient, um, we ask them their full name, their date of birth, and their any known, known drug allergies. Um, if they have any that are going to be incompatible, we would notify the doctor and not give any medicine. But as long as it's, uh, everything's okay, then we can go forward. So uh, we're going to assess the patient's uh, the arm right now. We're gonna make sure that the, uh, the IV site is clean, dry, and intact as well as if there's no swelling, edema, uh, or any warmness to the touch. Uh, we, that is not the case here. We notice that the, it is saline locked. It's looking pretty good. So what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna conduct hand hygiene and we are going to put on gloves, take our alcohol swab and our normal saline. And we're going to sc scrub here for 15 seconds. 15 seconds has passed. Beautiful. So now we have that here. Then we can go right here. Then slow, uh, we're gonna draw back for venous return. Once we've noted that there is, we are going to nice and slowly administer that 10 milliliters of saline. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna leave this here. We're gonna lock it back, but we're gonna leave this on here. All right, next we can get to uh, setting up our primary line. We would take all the tubing out of the package, 
So this would actually be more like this. So we take everything out of the package, we move the little safety cover, and then we would take the foil off and then puncture this right here. Now, generally that's gonna be empty. Once, we've done, once we're done with that, we can take this, hang it right here for now. Now, before we let, do anything else, we're gonna make sure that it's, it is clamped, because sometimes they're not. And now we have this chamber we're going to fill. So it's about the third, about a third, about a half to a third, and we're okay. Now we're gonna place this over an area that's safe, not on the patient, but you know, right here, this is our safe area. And we're gonna slowly unlock it until we start to see. Just like this uh, IV tubing has been giving me problems earlier. Let me try that again. There we go. So now we can see that it's flowing. Now, uh, this would generally be empty. So our the purpose of doing this is to prime the line. Once we see that it's completely full, then we would clamp it again. And then we would take this, take this side, and attach it to the patient. Now, it is clamped, so there's no, no medication going in, or there's no uh, primary line uh, or infusion going in right now. So what we would do at this point is turn the system on. And we can put, plug this right in, like so. Perfect. Now we just wait for this pump to get ready. It is a new patient right now because this is the first time it's been used. It is on a medical surgical unit. Now, the patient's entry ID is just going to be their uh, MRN number. So in this case, it's just going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. We press confirm. Now we're ready to begin programming. We are gonna be using channel A. So we do channel select. Now we are going to select guardrails IV fluids and we are going to find our medication, which is a common one, 0.9% normal saline. We ensure that that is correct and the infusion rate. Now, once again, uh, because uh, we're in the room, this is where we're gonna do our final check. Uh, we are going to check against the MAR, which would be on a computer generally. And we are going to ensure that it's 0.9% normal saline at 100 milliliters an hour. Yeah, 100 milliliters. And now the volume to be infused, we have a bag right here. This would be a generally 1,000 milliliters. I like to program it to 900 because if there's any error in this line, it gets very annoying. So at this time, uh, what we would do generally is, uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna make it easy and actually start it, and then we can go from there. So we're going to undo this line, and then we're gonna press start. So now this medication is infusing, and we can see here that it's going to be, it's actually, of course, there's like a lot of bubbles in this line, so it may not, it may give us some sass. I tried to, like, your hands are cold. Yeah. Oh, that's my temperature. temperature. So what we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, so there's an exclusion noted. So generally, uh, because of the fact that these have been kinked so, because, you know, they're, you know, they've been beat up a little bit, uh, there's going to be a lot of kinks, and that's going to detect pressure. So I think this is our big kink right here. So once we checked it, what we can do is uh, channel select and then press start, and it's going to keep going. Now it's going to keep doing this, unfortunately, because this line is just not very good. So, yeah. oh, actually, I'll take it back. <laughs> the reason is because it's occluded right here. <laughs> My apologies. So that's going to be. Uh, it's going to definitely tell you. It's still going to be safe. That we, you know, we just got to go through it. So now that this is confusing we can prepare our other medications. So, oh, actually one more thing. You're also going to um, date, label both the line and the bag. The bag is no longer good after 24 hours. The line still should be good for 48 to 72 hours, depending on hospital policy. All right, so now these are you know, on there. Last but not least, we are actually going to uh, prepare our medication. So this would be in this bag right here along with this, and then we would undo it. You see this foil, so that's like pop it right through. That's good. And then once again, this one would be here. And we are going to make sure that this is tight. And then take our things right here. 
Now we put this medication high, then we use this uh, uh, accompanying thing to go low. Perfect. Now we do the same thing we did before, fill the chamber. Good. Now we're going to use another alcohol pad to scrub, scrub, scrub for 15 seconds. And then collect it right here. Good. Now we're going to keep this right here for now. So oh, we have this. Is it still looking good? good? Now, before we go any further, we're going to check the medication one last time to ensure that the patient is indeed going to get cefazolin, 2,000 milligrams, IV piggyback, infused over 60 minutes. So that's the case. Now, what we're going to do is press channel select. And we're going to select secondary. We're going to find our, our medication. So it's C for cefazolin. So we're going to go page down. Cefazolin, perfect. And there's some pre-programmed uh, things right here. So we're going to do two grams or 200, 2,000 milliliter, milligrams or 100 milliliters. Ensure that that order is correct. Ensure that that's good. So it's going to, that's our concentration. Now we go through the amount that we're going to be getting. So 200 milliliters an, an hour. That's not exactly what we're looking for because we're looking for 100 milliliters given over one hour. So we're gonna change the duration to one hour. So now our rate is 100 milliliters an hour, which is what we expect. Now, we ensure that this right here is unplanned and we press start. So now what we're gonna do is before we leave, we're going to ensure that this medication is where it's coming through. And we see that's good. So we're going to Label, we've already labeled this bag. We're going to label this line. I, uh, for medication, it should be 12 to 24 hours, depending upon hospital policy. And uh, let the patient know to let us, to if there's any questions or concerns, if they feel any burning in that area to their uh, IV site, if they develop any rashes, if they feel like anything, their throat is closing up or any other symptoms of anaphylaxis. And uh, ideally, uh, we'd like to stay here for the next 10 to 15 minutes to ensure that that does not immediately occur. Um, after that, we are, while we're doing that, we can uh, do our documentation indicating we've actually given the medication, answer all questions and concerns, bring the head of the bed back down, and then we, uh, we are done. This medication should be completed about an, in about an hour, after which the primary line will take right back over and we can, we can change everything out. All right, thank you.